the talented right fielder of the Rockies, Charlie Blackman, hitting at 276 on the year with nine homers and 59 RBIs. This ball lined to right center field. Connor Joe around third. He'll score, and Charlie Blackman gives the Rockies a 1 0 lead on the road. This is just the second time in Sam Hilliard's career that he's come up with the bases loaded. A 1 1 is hit off the end of the bat and into left center field for a base hit. It will score a pair. And Hilliard is out at second base trying to make it a double. But Sam Hilliard adds to the advantage. 3-0 here in the first. We move into the bottom of the second inning. The Rockies with a 3-0 advantage. Payoff pitch from Senzatella. Curveball strike three called. He just froze David Bodie who flipped the bat away and tried to say no that was a ball but yeah it was in there David knew it too but when you're fooled like that you try and do that and hope sends a telefire swing and a miss got him with a hard breaking slider Antonio sends gets his fourth strikeout so here's Schwindel struck out against Senzatella. First pitch bounces it up the middle. Rogers, the shortstop, has it. And sidearms the throw over to first base. And it's a ground ball out on the first pitch at the bottom of the fourth for Antonio Senzatella. One two pitch swing and a miss. Got him on the slider down and away. And Antonio Senzatella collects strikeout number six on a beautiful breaking ball. 3 0 Rockies in the fourth. Pitch to Bodie is hit in the air. Center field moving back. Hilliard at the Ivy. He reaches up and makes the catch. Long fly ball, but Sam Hilliard brings it in, and Antonio Senzatella says no problem to that infield single. So the Cubs have something cooking here with two away in the bottom of the fifth inning. Then at first and second, and Rafael Ortega do up. Shallow left, and oh! what a catch by McMahon. What a grab by McMahon, and you can add another point to his DRS, defensive run save. Ryan McMahon with great athleticism takes a blue base hit and a rally killer to end the fifth. The bases are loaded for David Bodie. Bodie cracks one on the ground to short. Rogers to second for one on the first double play. But the Cubs score their first run of the game as Schwindel comes home. Advancing the third base is half, but two down here in the sixth. Hermosillo swings and pops it up. First baseman C.J. Crone drifting with the win, but stays with it, and that ends the inning. Base is loaded, nobody out, and the Cubs only get one. The Rockies have runners at the corners with nobody out. Joe swings and drives it towards right. Backing up and making the play is Hermosillo. Tagging and scoring is Hampson. And down to second base is Ruiz. Sacrifice fly for Connor Joe and the Rockies lead four to one. There's a new pitcher on the mound for Colorado. Veteran right-hander Yolis Chassin. Chassin got some good defensive help. Here's a ball that's slashed to third base. Good pick by Ryan McMahon who throws over to first for the out. Boy, Ryan McMahon with another quick reaction to make the play. Bases are loaded for the Cubs here in the bottom of the eighth inning. He swings and lines one big set in the center field. One run is in. And that's all for now. The bases remain loaded. The RBI single by Patrick Wisdom moves the Cubs to within two. Bodie rips one to short. Rogers to second for one on the first double play. But coming in to score is Schwindel, and the Cubs are within one. It's Colorado four, the Cubs three. From a sail swing, strikes one to deep left field. This will run half off the wall. Tie ball game, half scores as Hermes Seal cruises into second base with an RBI double. 4-4 here in the eighth at Wrigley. Hayward the winning run at first, and it'll bring up Rafael Ortega. Hayward goes, the pitch. Hit in the air, deep to right field, way back, this could go, gone! Rob 